In this video, we will provide an overview of the Genesis controller's home screen. Start by turning on your Genesis. At the top left corner, you'll find the start button. Pressing this initiates firing. You have two options here, start firing immediately, or schedule a later firing. Next, we have the edit or view button. Currently, novice mode is deactivated, and the word edit is displayed. From here, you can press each parameter and make changes as needed. If novice mode is activated, this will read view. You are able to confirm the currently loaded program, but no changes can be made. Moving on, there's the load button, which allows you to load a new program into the controller. If novice mode is deactivated, you will choose the type of firing and then press the edit button to make changes. In novice mode, pressing load guides you through a series of questions to assist with programming. The menu button grants access to various options such as the data menu, diagnostics, adjustments, configuration, restore presets, and factory configuration. At the top, there's the firing banner, indicating the kiln's current status. For instance, it currently displays idle, but when a firing is in process, it will show firing. Below is the programming banner, providing details about the loaded program. Presently, it shows a ceramic glaze program going to cone 4 at a slow speed. The status block at the bottom offers a range of information regarding the kiln status. It includes the current temperature, firing time, set point, segment, and Wi-Fi connectivity status. Tapping on this block will switch to another screen, displaying individual thermocouple temperatures, the power percentage connected to each zone, and the corresponding set point temperature for the program. This concludes our brief overview, but we will explore each screen in detail through upcoming videos. Remember to stay informed about future updates by visiting LNL's website at hotkilns.com.